Still ahead, counting bikes to make the roads safer. That's what a group of volunteers is doing. They're helping to collect data to make the roads more bike friendly. KITV Force Brenton Wa explains it's all new at 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Sitting and counting bikes going by. That's not a popular pastime. In fact, an official bike count has never been recorded in Hawaii until now. One, two. For Lynn Bailey, volunteering her time to keep a tally is so important to her, she took a vacation to do it. Bicycle safety is very important. There have been a lot of accidents, a lot of people getting hurt. Including Bailey, who's been hit four times while riding. But over the next two days, volunteers will contribute to something a lot bigger than a bike count. The Hawaii Bicycling League is trying to make our roads safer, but it needs bicycling data, which our state doesn't have. Without data, we can't really properly advocate for cycling improvements, and that's actually the biggest thing. The group will log at six locations from Kalihi to Waikiki during the morning and afternoon rush hour. By seeing those trends, we can determine how people are actually using the road and better advocate for infrastructure improvements like bike lanes, bike paths, um, things like that. The data should also help keep riders safe. It'll pinpoint exactly where cyclists are riding, and if they're riding in the wrong places, the group hopes to target that and correct it. Between 2007 and 2011, there's been over 6,000 injuries to cyclists in Hawaii. A lot of those injuries are, you know, just people falling off their bike or injuring themselves, but there is a significant number of those injuries that are also car on bike collisions. Um, and that's the most important thing that we can, we can prevent. This count is getting the community involved as well. And if we can make ourselves visible to the community and get the community, interest, community interested in what we're doing, then that support would also help us out a lot. Brenton Owa, KITV4 News.